everybody, Lammy here, and welcome to another Christmas 2014 video. Now in this particular video, we're going to be making crystal snowflakes. Oh, they're so beautiful, guys. If any of you are following me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you will see that I posted a picture of Sprinkles, and he brought us supplies to make these beautiful crystal snowflakes. So I saw these a few weeks ago online, and I mentioned to Mom that I would like to make them. Well, I guess Sprinkles overheard us because he brought us the supplies. So uh, yeah, right here behind me is everything you're going to need except for the water. So yeah, Mom, why don't you show them? All right. Here's the supplies you're going to need to make your crystal snowflakes. First and foremost, um, Sprinkles brought us the borax and the pipe cleaners. The pipe cleaners you can get at any craft store, Target, Walmart, anywhere like that. Most places will have pipe cleaners. They're, you know, it's going to be in the craft aisle. And it's just a wire with fuzzy stuff on the outside. So any color you would like, these are just the ones that Sprinkles happened to leave us. And then Borax Detergent Booster. Um, you can get this. I've seen this in the store. Sprinkles brought us this box, but I've seen this in the laundry detergent aisle of most grocery stores or Target, Walmart, places like that. Um, you're also going to need string, any type of string will do. You're going to need a pencil or a chopstick. You're also going to need a one-third measuring cup. And you're going to need a liquid measuring cup that measures two cups. Or, or one that's just one cup, it doesn't matter. But you're going to need two cups of boiling water by the end of this recipe. Um, and then also some scissors because, and what we went ahead and we did is we already made one so that way you could get an idea of what it, our pattern will look like. We took pipe cleaners and then we used the scissors on the pipe cleaners to cut various sizes. And I have some sizes over here to the side. So see, we cut small pieces and then we cut medium sized pieces. And then what you do is you twist them together to create the pattern of the snowflake. You can go onto Google Images, go on the internet, go to Google Images and type in pipe cleaner snowflakes and you'll see a bunch of different pictures so you can create your own pattern or you can copy off any that you see online that you like. So basically, you just take the smaller pieces of pipe cleaner and you just twist them together like twisty ties. There's no glue or tape involved in this. They're all just twisted together. Now the reason why we did not film ourselves making this is because it did take a little bit of time to cut the pieces, to twist them together. It was a little time consuming to make the snowflakes. So that's why we didn't include it in this video we didn't want the video to get too long so you it's, it's easy to do though so it's nothing nothing hard or anything so you'll just make your snowflake pattern and set that off to the side so now you're going to move on to making the um, concoction that will create the crystals on the pipe cleaners all right so the next step is the water that's the only thing that's not pictured here that you're going to need you need two cups of boiling water for this recipe so make sure you get your parents help if you're using the stove and hot water and things like that first I'm going to measure out a third of cup of the borax and I'm gonna pour it in our um, container here and when you get this you need to make sure that the container that you're going to use has a wide mouth so you can use a mason jar you can use a measuring cup like this as long as it's glass you could use a pot or pan from the stove as long as it's it's kind of deep and it has a wide opening and you're going to see why it needs to be a wide opening in just a minute Okay, so I'm back. I have measured out one third a cup of the borax. I did it over the sink, the kitchen sink, so that way it wouldn't make a mess on the table. It is just a very fine white powder, as you can see right there. So the next step that we have to do is whatever container you're going to use um, to put your snowflake down into, the wide mouth container, if it's a mason jar, an old spaghetti jar, a pot, a pan, or something like we have here, um, Get that ready because you're going to pour the hot water into that. So you're going to take two cups of hot water and you're going to add the borax to it. So let me go get it and I'll be right back. So I have our hot water. I'm going to pour it into our glass. All right, so that's two cups of hot water, very hot water, it's boiling. It's been on the stove, so make sure you get your parents' help. And then with that, you're going to sprinkle in your one third cup of borax and then you're just gonna stir it up until it dissolves. So the next step is to tie the string on the top of the pipe cleaner, and then you take the pencil or the chopstick or the pen, like I mentioned, and you just slide it through the loop right there, because this is going to hold up the snowflake. 
Now the snowflakes should not be touching the edges or the bottom of the um, bowl that you're using. Um, so make sure that if you need to adjust the height of this, just so it's hanging like suspended in the liquid, like so. So it just hangs there like that, and you just continue to let it hang like that overnight. So you gotta have a little bit of patience with this. Um, Lammy, how do you feel about that? I don't like it at all, Mom. I gotta wait all night for this to be done? Well, Lammy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to bed, Tomorrow morning when we get up, it'll be done and it'll be gorgeous. I guess. Well, Lammy, just be patient. Um, I don't exactly know how this works. Somehow the borax in the water, it crystallizes onto the pipe cleaner and it creates a beautiful crystal effect. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what it looks like. All right, well, Sprinkles wouldn't have brought this to us if it wasn't fabulous. I've seen pictures online and it's pretty amazing, guys. So anyway, yeah. Patience, patience, patience. So, uh, yeah, we'll start filming again in the morning once this is done so you can see what it looks like. Alrighty, so we started filming this video in the morning time when we did the filming, when we made this, and now it's the evening time, so instead of having to wait all night long, we just had to wait during the day because guess what, guys? The snowflake is ready. Show them, Mom, show them. Okay, Lammy, goodness. I know you're excited, but goodness gracious. All right, everyone, so it is actually ready. We did not realize that it would just take a day. So you could either do it at night and wake up in the morning and it be ready, or do it in the morning and it's ready at night. So it just needs some hours in here, but check it out, guys. Yes, see how glittery and sparkly that is? So the borax in the water crystallized onto the pipe cleaners, and that is what it created. So I'm going to get a paper towel and dry this off, and I'll be right back. All right, so that is where we decided to put it. Lammy, right there in the front's where you wanted it, right? Yeah, right there in the front. I think it is so pretty, guys, how it crystallized. And the lights hit it, and it's just so beautiful. I just love it. I want to make more, Mom. I want to cover the tree with them. All right, well, we can make more because it was really easy to do. Oh, look at it sparkle, guys. When we move, you can see the sparkle of the crystals. Oh, it is so pretty. I love it. Anyway, guys, have you ever made one of these before? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and if you're going to try this. Oh, I love it, guys. Maybe I should get some, like, different colored um, pipe cleaners and stuff, and then we can make rainbow ones or blue ones or green ones or red ones. <laughs> Lammy, you can make whatever color you want. All right, cool. Anyway, guys, yeah, it's so nice. Be sure to subscribe. I have another video coming tomorrow. Yes, I'm doing two videos in one weekend. So be sure to watch for tomorrow's video as well. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are in the description box below. So that way you can watch what Sprinkles gets up to during this Christmas season. I do post a lot on those places. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Pretty sparkly. Haha. <laughs> Talk to you there, guys.